everybody welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i filmed a video i think it's been three months so that's a slap on the wrist for being a, a rubbish youtuber <laughs> but anyway today i'm bringing you a what is new in my wardrobe video um plenty of different places we've got uh tk maxx primark h&m vintage um Vogue. i think that might be it uh, as do as well um and then yeah i'm just going to show you through what i've got um which as you can see there's a bit of a theme color theme I tend to be picking up a lot of creams and beiges at the minute so um if you're not already please subscribe to my channel it'd be amazing to have you back at all future videos i promise i'm going to do more there's a puppy barking in one of the nearby gardens so if you can hear the puppy so I was about that, can't really do much about it. For a change, Walter's not barking. I mean, that does make a change. I wanted to film this video last weekend and I just, he, he wouldn't have let me. I had him by myself and there was no way I'd be able to film anything. So, just been to Meadow Hall and swapped one of the items that I'd bought from Primark um, last week. I just really didn't like it. It was a shirt dress, completely wrong colour for me. So I took it back, had a Starbucks on the way. Um, Swapped it for a couple of bits that I'm going to show you in the video. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Um, right, I've kind of paired them in order of where they're from, but in no particular order that I'm showing you. Like, this is not my favourite, for example. However, um, went into TK Maxx the other day because Walt was having a groom, so I had literally two hours to fill, which, you know, is no big deal, but... I can easily go shopping for two hours. I'm a bit obsessed with shopping, obviously. Um, but anyway, so yeah, perusing the rails in TK Maxx and I found this lovely blush pink. Come up a bit closer. Um, it's like a marl kind of, I think if this was grey, I'd probably call it marl grey, but yeah, blush pink, round neck, Vila, is that how you say this brand? Um, I've had a few bits from this brand before, little cuff details and uh, it's long, tiny bit longer at the back, um, so I thought about perfect for leggings, skinny jeans, love the colour, goes well with creams and well, any colour really, creams, a black jacket over the top maybe, um, but just so snuggly. I just picked it up and I thought, that is beau. Um, I got it in an extra small, obviously you just pick up what you can in TK Maxx, but perfect sizing really. I think it, well actually it says on the tag, should have been twenty nine ninety nine originally. And I got it for twelve ninety nine, so yeah, I was happy with that. Um, I'll do a cutaway haul as well. Cutaway haul, a cutaway, so you'll be able to see what it looks like with. I'll just probably put it with. I've picked up a pair of um, black leggings from Primark this morning because you can't not, can you? So I'll probably just put that on with it. What was that noise that my mouth just made? <laughs> Sound like a duck. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the first item. Nice for like, it's just starting to get cold again, although it has been say that it's been 30 degrees this week um but yeah i think that we've we've seen the last of the summer now haven't we so perfect for like the next few weeks and then i can always layer it with maybe i don't know actually i've got a cream aviator jacket um that i've had from next for a couple of years that color would look really nice under um under under that coat <laughs> I was just looking at my hair and it just completely threw me then. Uh, if you're wondering where this is from, I got it a couple of weeks ago from, I bet I've had it about two months now actually, um, H&M, so I'll link it below if they've still got it. It was definitely less than £20. Right, this is like mega, mega long. So I can see why people in TK Maxx, shoppers in TK Maxx, would have just kind of bypassed this. However... When I saw it, I thought, right, okay, I love the colour for a start. Um, what would I call this? Like a like a mushroomy brownie colour. But anyway, it's a boiler suit. I never thought I would say I'd buy a boiler suit, but hey, I bought one. It's by Massimo Dutti, is it? Is that how you say it? Who knows? Um, and utility look. Thought definitely paired with some chunky black boots. I'm going to show you that are new as well in the wardrobe. Um, chunky cream knit over the top it is very long for a start I'll get to that um, and it has these really nice brown are they tortoiseshell uh, slightly yeah they are some of the different tortoiseshell buttons that one's that one's a nicer button if you can get 
nicer buttons. Um, but obviously the, uh, is that a lapel that kind of covers up the buttons? However, I don't plan on having it up to the top. So I'll wear it open a bit, show some necklace off. Um, or maybe you can put, when you do need to start layering, put like a little cami top underneath it. Or even, I think a polo neck would be too much to be honest because it's a really thick cotton. Um, details there on the cuff. Now it's cinched in on the waist big time so it's like elasticated. I'll try and, without getting makeup on it, do you know what I mean? And it's got belt hooks, oops. So my plan is to cinch it in even more at the waist because I had to pick this up in a 12, it didn't have a size 10. Um, actually it's a medium but the H&M, not H&M, the TK Maxx tag says it's a UK 12. <laughs> Yeah, actually no, it says Europe, European size 38, which is a 10, isn't it? And UK size 12. But anyway, it is too big on me slightly, but that's the kind of feel of a boiler suit. It's meant to be big and oversized. Um, that's why I'm going to pair it with my Gucci belt. I'm going to put a little cutaway in of the way I uh, style this up. And when I looked at it, I did think, because it was on one of those rails that has all the long dresses on it, and this was just in between pockets on the bum um, and it looked far too long but I thought I'm gonna have to try that on because it's gonna be one of those things that looks far better on and I was right well I think personally we'll see what you think comment below if you like it or not Um turn up on the bottom but I like I say I'm gonna probably pair well you could put white trainers with this um, or put make it even more utilitarian and put the chunky black boots with it and probably you could tuck the trousers into the boots but I don't know if I'll do that or not but we'll, we'll have a look I've not actually tried it on at home yet since I tried it on the shop like to put things together with it but it's got the um, metal detail on the bum as well for the branding um, pockets literally everywhere bum sides boobs won't be using those but you know but oh yeah no zip as normal um, but this was £25 I told you how much the jump was didn't I yeah 24 99 does it say how much this was going to be? Yeah, 90, pound, 90, 90 euros. That's probably why they got the sizing wrong on it. But anyway, um, yeah, so £25 should have been 90 euros, whatever that translates to in pounds. But I just love the colour and I thought that's very unusual for me. But I can, pair, I can like style it up so many different ways. So I might even go even cooler and have the collar up. Anyway, we'll see what you think to that. Everything that I can link below, I will link below by the way. If I find those items on the TK Maxx website, then I'll put a link below. Um, okay, next up. Now, I don't know what it is at the minute, but I keep going into H&M whenever I'm in Meadow Hall. And I keep finding things that are in the sale that should not be in the sale. Like, one of the next items coming up definitely is brand new stock. Um, but anyway, I guess I've just fallen on a few lucky pieces. This I saw, there was about three of these left actually, and again it said it was in the sale and I thought how can something that is going to be, is so in right now, this could be brand new stock, why is it in the sale? So, shearling jacket, this is not a shacket, it's more of a jacket, um, pockets on the boobs, deep pockets, oh that's what made me fall in love with it, I thought I can just imagine walking around with my pockets, with my hands in my pockets, um, all cosy, and uh, yeah, I could not believe that I found this in sale. So it's got pop-up buttons, like so, all the way down. I'm not bothered doing them all. This is in a medium. Like I said, there was three left, so I just got the smallest size that there was. And it was meant to be £40, and it was £20. £20 for something that could be brand new stock now. In fact, I really just don't know why it's in the sale. I think. Anyway, I'll not even try and guess. But well, that's going to keep me super cosy when it gets cold. It is too hot for that right now, although I wish I could wear it this week. Um, so yeah, that was the first item from H&M that I bought recently. I think I got that last week. Um, right, next up from H&M is a sleeveless vest, a uh, knitted vest. And this was £14.99. Honestly, some places are charging ridiculous money for these things. Um, I bet in Zara this would be at least £30, which obviously is only double, but £15, it is beautiful. This is actually longer than I thought. I bought this online, um, has slits on the side at the bottom, 
it's longer than I would want it to be, I think, because I, I bought it to go with the white shirt dress that I'm going to show you, um, which you may have already seen me wear on my Instagram last weekend. If you follow me on Instagram, please do. Um, so you may have already seen that pair, that styled up actually last week, but this was too long to wear with the white shirt dress. So this is going to be for like my sagey kind of sage leggings, um, black leggings, any leggings to be fair, Natalie. Um, and then yeah, maybe like trainers, chunky boots. Um, it's going to get cold soon obviously, so I will have a sleeve on with it. But I just loved it for fourteen ninety nine. I got that in size small and it is quite oversized um, so we'll show you what that looks like. Uh, next up another bargain from H&M like why is this in the sale or why did I find it in the sale? One this was the only one and it was an extra small meant to be for $34.99. Now quilted is everywhere right now if you've not already noticed like um, even in Primark not my cup of tea but they're doing quilted um, mom jeans like they look like they've got they've got a stitching in it to make it look quilted. Mom jeans, um, a denim shirt, a denim shirt that's got like quilted line look in it. I, again, they're not for me. I've, I've seen them and I thought no, that's too much for me. However, jackets, yes please. So this is very much the material like a barber jacket. So it's got that kind of waxy, not waxy feel, but um. Not the waxy barber jacket, the other style jacket. But you know what I mean, it's a bit loud when you touch it. But why was this £15? It, it's in, it's a new trend for this season. So why is it in the sale? Anyway, whatever, £15 bargain for me. Um, might have it open. It's more like a shirt jacket really this, isn't it? It's not a jacket. <laughs> this is not what I would class as a jacket. But mm, looking at it in the mirror actually, maybe it's just like a quilted jacket I don't know maybe it is a jacket what am I talking about um perfect for jeans and joggers and anything else that I want to pair it with I think I'm a bit happy you know I've had him um, what is this I've finished an iced salted maple and caramel latte I think it's a bit strong you know I've got some energy from somewhere um anyway yeah 15 pound hello that is beautiful so, that's the, no it isn't the final cream item, I've got another one. You may have seen this again on Instagram, I styled this up um, just with sage leggings a couple of weeks ago now. Um, I bought this in August, thinking what am I doing buying cardigans in August, but obviously time goes so fast. So, oversized, grey, really, really cosy cardigan from H&M. This is new in obviously with really cute buttons. Um... I forget now how much this was. Oh, $17.99. It's just come back to me. Um, I got it in an extra small. I mean, does it look extra small? Does it heck? But it is oversized. And the one thing that I really like about it is it has slits on the side and it's slightly longer on the back as well. So if you just like to throw it on with leggings, a little vest underneath like I did yesterday again, then perfect for that. Um, really deep pockets as well. Actually, I wore this on a dog walk yesterday because it was warm, but it, I still needed to like, cover my shoulders up a bit. So, um, yeah. This was dog walk attire yesterday, which I think it's a bit nice for a dog walk. But anyway, that's just what I was wearing yesterday. It doesn't go tight on the, on the cuffs. It's um, like the same width as the rest of the sleeve. So it's a little bit different for a change. But yeah, V-necks, I'm, I'm, I'm good with V-necks. I'm not wearing one now, obviously. But I like a good old V-neck. Right, next. Have I told you? I have told you that I am obsessed with Vinted. So I don't know if you've tried Vinted or not for buying or selling, but it is the easiest thing to use. This is not an ad. <laughs> Just try and find yourself some bargains on there. People, a bit like me, sometimes you buy things, you don't wear them. Don't do that a lot, but whatever. Um, you know, with tags on, you can find some proper bargains on there. Um, and even people like myself who tend to look after the clothes well, um, even if it's not brand new, you can get some really lovely pieces. Um, so, first up, this came this week. So, uh, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen me going on about this on my story the other day. But, how nice is this? I would say sage green vintage blazer. Long line, covers the bum. 
a bit shorter arm because obviously some older things tended to have shorter arms but I don't care because it shows off my jewellery um, and my watch so perfect but who remembers St Michael when, when Marks and Spencers was St Michael clothing and was it food as well I can't remember but um, yeah this is a St Michael vintage blazer it's thin so it's not going to keep you massively warm in winter but you know I'll, I don't care <laughs> I wanted it it's still got the button inside as well God knows how old it is. I tried to look on the tag the other day to see if it had any um, like suggestions how old it would be. But yeah, got it in a size 10. <laughs> Didn't care whatever size it was going to be, I was going to have it. But this was the bargain price of £4. £4. £4.50. What the hell? Um, I just love it. So let me know what you think. Have you bought anything from Vinted? Or eBay that you're absolutely in love with. Um, you might have seen my eBay. Oh, I've not got it on the rail, but I bought a dress from eBay last week. Wore it to the races this week. Check my Instagram out. In fact, I'll probably insert a post to show you what that looked like. But that was a bargain. That was £5 off eBay, brand new with tags. Read the caption on the Instagram and you'll see the story. But I love bargains. I love a bargain. And I love giving a new life to an old piece of clothing. As much as I love buying new clothes, I do like a vintage find. Next item from Vinted. Brand new with tags. Uh, I'm going to call this Prince of Wales check. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. It's not Houndstooth, is it? That's a bit. I don't know. We'll go with Prince of Wales check. Brand new with tags. H&M, £35 on the tag. Size 8. Um, got it for £8. in love that's the print up close so it's like browns blacks creams and um, a lighter brown such a thick nice material as well yeah you can put filters on vintage where if you want to just see um, brand new items with tags you can do that um, I tend to just select new with tags um, new and good condition I don't really faff about I don't want to look at anything that's not good anything less than good condition and I've only had one item that I've ever bought um, well so far since I started buying on Vinted this year that was not nice um, and it was a, a mango coat puffer coat that I bought for dog walking and it came and it was I mean she did say on the on the listing that because it was um, do they call it down when it's full of, fe full of feathers which to be fair I don't know why I bought it anyway because I'm allergic to anything with feathers <laughs> but um, like pillows and things like that um, yeah, and they were like sticking out the coat when I bought it, but not just that, it turned up at the shop when I went to go and collect it, it was hanging out the bag, she'd not packaged it properly, it was covered in mud, that was not because it had been hanging out the bag on the, you know, on the, on the delivery, it was just because it was scruffy, um, I only paid £2 for it, I mean I know what you're thinking, what do you expect £2 for a coat, but when somebody lists something on Vinted and says it's in good condition, bearing in mind it, I was buying it for dog walking, so two pound whatever take the risk i only paid two pound delivery as well cut long story short i ended up throwing it into the charity bag so i washed it and then gave it to charity anyway <laughs> back on track how nice is this blazer how many blazers i have now i have i need to count them i have no idea okay final thing from vintage to show you okay always been obsessed with caramelling used to have a store card for caramel when I was about 19, 20 because I used to sell cars for a living around that time and I just always wanted to look the bee's knees at work so if you had a store card with caramel and I don't know if any, anybody knows or remembers um, if you spent £199 which was not hard isn't hard at caramel is it because an item can be £100 so it's, most of the time it was like one or two items if you spent £199 you got six months interest free I never had loads of money on the card, I think. I think the maximum I ever had on that credit card was like £600 or something. Maybe TMI, but I'm just letting you know. But I bought it for my uniforms at work. Well, not uniforms, my work outfits. I don't have to go off on a tangent, do I? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Why did I start telling you that? Anyway, that was why. I've always loved Caramel. And when I did my Pop Idol audition when I was 16, I had a full-on Caramel and outfit on, like a casual trendy thing um anyway so just saying been a fan all my life so 
sometimes on Vinted, I just have a random search for anything caramel and in good condition or brand new or whatever. And look at this skirt. Now, I'm going to have to go back to the office a bit more than what I have been doing. And I just thought, for when I'm running an event or just when I want to feel a bit more sassy, office-like, smart, I got this mini skirt. Now, on one side and around the back, it's pleated. And then this covers up some of the pleats, but it is tied. It's not going to flash or anything. It's not going to blow up in the wind, unless the whole thing does. But And then it has the branded buckle there. Um, this, I think I paid £9 for this. Um, it's not new, but it's hardly been worn, size 10. And um, it's absolutely in pristine condition. There's not even a pull. You know, sometimes the, you can get pulls in the fabric because it's kind of that. Not chiffon, but it's that kind of material. Um, but yeah, got a bit of a hair on it there. Um, how nice is that for nine pound? So smart. And I thought I've got a couple of caramel and um, cream chunky jumpers, so I thought this isn't one of those. But I just thought, you know, like creams and blacks, knee eye boots, um, tights, ankle boots, whatever. That is going to be so nice for my workwear wardrobe. Might as well keep that in my hand. Um, so yeah, that was the last of the vintage items. So if you've never been on it, I do suggest to have a look. Um, if anybody wants a referral code for vintage, let me know. Um, like I say, not an ad, just I can help you out with that. Um, I don't know what the benefits are to either of us for sharing friends referral codes, but we'll have a go. Um, okay, first item from Primark. Everything else that I need to show you is from Primark, apart from a housey bit from TK Maxx and a bit of beauty stuff. Um, anyway. This you'll have seen on, uh, as part of my outfit when I went on a girl session, day session last Saturday with the white shirt dress. You may have already seen this in Primark, it's been in about two weeks now I believe. Um, I got it in a small which is a 10 to 12. Um, so good for, I think it was 13, no it was 12 pound. Obviously the tag's off because I've worn it. Um, but so nice, just the cosiest, kept me so, I didn't even need to be worn last week but I just thought I don't want to be in the middle of, nowhere with just a white shirt dress on I want a bit of comfort in case you know it turns cold at night or whatever which it did and I just can't get over how nice this is for £12 again anywhere else will be charging you a lot more money for this Um it's cropped so nice with like like I say a shirt underneath or a thin polo neck or um, just a long sleeve top under when it gets cooler you can even wear this without any sleeves at the minute that'd be nice um and then yeah i'll probably just put it with jeans from now on and i will wear that outfit again that i wore last saturday because that's probably one of my favorite outfits of the year so far anyway that's the first primark thing so um i bought another shirt dress um from primark at the same time no i didn't i bought it by itself last week anyway i'd just taken it back this morning because the color was an i didn't really realize when i picked it up because i was kind of in a bit of a rush trying to find a white shirt well trying to find a shirt dress for last Saturday because I just had in my head I want to wear a shirt dress. I'd ordered one from ASOS which I'm going to show you um, and actually it did come 10 minutes before I set off my train for my, my taxi came to get me. So anyway, um, but the Primark one I'd taken back because it was like a dirty custard colour. I don't know why I didn't realise when I bought it but like I said I was in a rush. So I've just taken that back this morning. Obviously you can't go to Primark without to return something without picking other bits up can you? Um, so I saw this, I've tended to pick a few of these up over recent, um, you might have seen a grey and a black one in my last haul, but I, I saw the white one today, it's a really thick t-shirt material, um, really nice quality, is it one of the, yeah, made using recycled cotton, small, size 10 to 12, £5, it's a body by the way, so perfect for high-waisted jeans and you just know, you're all, all tucked in and comfy, so that was a simple purchase this morning that I just wanted to add to my collection of t-shirt bodies. Um, this is the this is the white shirt dress that I wore last Saturday. So it's from ASOS Design. Um, there we go, size ten. Um, slightly over. Well, I'd say it is oversized, but my plan was to put the sleeveless vest, knitted vest, over it. Like I say, and initially I was going to put this over it, but it was just. The same length as the shirt and I wanted the shirt to come out and hang out the bottom so that's why 
I didn't wear that one last week, I wore the shorter one. Um, but yeah, really nice um, cotton material. This has been washed and ironed in a rush this morning, so I could include it in the haul. Um, but I'm really impressed, £20. Obviously, ASOS are always doing like either 10 or 20% off, so try and get it when that's the case. Really, really, really recommend this. Um, I need to leave a review actually on ASOS for it. Really nice quality, not see through, perfect for like wearing as a dress with something to wear over the top. So that's the last thing. Oh, that's the last thing on the rail, but there's something below the rail. So I put these on my story the other day. These are everywhere. You will have already known, noticed that, but chunky boots, um, not military, like utilitarian, a little bit dusty. <laughs> They've only been up here a couple of days. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if anybody follows, is it Gals Love the High Street or Gals Love High Street or something like that on Instagram, recommend to follow her. Um, she picks up like all the most popular items across the high street um, and then shares when people have bought them and, and put like, outfits together. She shared, I don't know her name, feel really rude saying she, but yeah, Gals Love High Street, I think is the Instagram handle. Shared these the other day. Well, it was last week, actually, they came up last week. So they're from Georgia, Asda. And they were saying how similar they were um, to loads of one boots on the high street, but especially to the 79.99 ones from H&M, which are real leather, £80. These are not real leather, these are £20. Um, but do you really need real leather? Not really. Twenty pound, um, comfy as go with your go with your true to size. I, these are a size six, and they are so comfy. I've not worn them yet, as you can tell, um, but really thick sole on them, um, stretchy on the side, so you can tuck things in like I might pair this with the boiler suit. Like I said, the di other differences with the H and M ones and a few other pairs is that they have a tab on the front of the boot as well. Some other pairs these have just got the back back one, so it's nice for pulling it on. I don't know what that was. That was meant to be when you're pulling your boots on, <laughs> stick your finger in there. See what I mean? I'm a bit hyper, aren't I? What the hell? Um, yeah, I, don't, I can't really say much more about these, but they're really nice. They don't smell like fake leather. I think sometimes they can smell it fishy, can't they? Um, but yeah, really nice. And I've decided now that I'm keeping them because £20, if I send them back, I'm just going to regret it. I know I am. So that's the boots. We'll shove them down there somewhere. Right, I've got a few bits and bobs to show you now. Um, mainly Primark, some beauty, branded beauty and a candle. It's candle season after all. So like I say, went this morning, changed the shirt dress, picked up a regular length size of black leggings, £2.50. Really nice thick material now, aren't they? Primark leggings are not like what they used to be. Next up, got to get some more cotton pads every time I go. How nice are these colours of um, bubbles? Scrunches, let's call them scrunches. Two pound for three. Um, so brown, nude, beige, and like a peachy colour. I've been wanting to wear these, by the way, but I've been keeping, been keeping them uh, on the packaging for this haul. Like I said, I wanted to film last week, but I couldn't get around to it. I've not washed my hair this morning, by the way, because I'm going for a walk in the peaks in like an hour and ten minutes. Um, my friend's coming around at one with her sister, so um, started vlogging this morning. You know. I just thought sod it. I've been wanting to do it for ages, so filmed a bit of uh, footage this morning. I'm going to take us out to the peaks as well, and then I'm planning to do a, a weekly vlog. So yeah, look out for them. Like I say, subscribe if you're not already. That'd be lovely, and you hit the notification bell if you want to get an alert every time a video of mine comes up, just so you know you're not going to miss it. Because who would want to miss my amazing videos? How nice is this? That's the first time I've tried it on since I put it on in the shop. You know my favourite colour. Is lilac. This is this is like. Do you know what? It's not. It is. What do they call it? Blue. <laughs> it's like a cornflower blue. It's my favourite blue, which is very similar to lilac. But how nice is this? They've got several colours at the minute. Am I going to leave that bubbly bit up there? I don't know. Maybe I'll pull it down a bit more. Make sure the brows are alright. I need them doing actually. Three pound woolly hat. God knows when I'll get to wear it, when it's going to be cold enough for woolly hat, but you know, when it snows, I'm going to have this on. So, well, when it's just really windy, that's the next thing. Um, I've put this back onto the packaging because I wore it 
recently, uh, not for a week or two, because this came, oh I need to show you about this, tell you about this, don't let me forget my earrings as well, not that you can tell me, no, don't forget your earrings, <laughs> um, £3 for this collection of fake gold necklaces, <laughs> um, I couldn't get N for Natalie, so I went with J, which is my boyfriend's initial, um, but yeah, the only thing I would say about this, since I wore it, which I'm still going to wear it, but this is far, sleeping on my foot, this is far too long, in my opinion, the bottom one, than the rest of them. Like, this one should come down a bit more to, like, there. And then I'd be happier. I'd be a happier now. Um, but £3 for the whole thing. Brand new store, Autumn Winter 21, it says on the back. Um, really nice. So, yeah, if you like it, it's got a little key and a padlock. So I'm just going to show you these. Padlock earrings. I think they're 14 carat plated. ASOS. And I thought, ooh, padlock on the... Um, necklace padlock on the earrings that like i said the gold and then they've got like i don't want to come too close because who wants to see my face that close and i've not washed my hair this morning did i say that probably um but anyway they're so comfy they're a bit fiddly to lock and get off but i think they were they were 10 pound and i got them when they were 20 percent off anyway there you go with this i'm still gonna wear them no matter what i'm not gonna pair them both together all the time but we'll chuck that down so that's the jewelry oh my goodness Get me some chunky boots on with these chunky socks. I have some from Marks and Spencers. And I go back every winter to try and get the same ones because they wash amazingly. As most, most Marks and Spencers stuff does. But they just never... I, I bet I've had them five years and they look brand new. And then I can't get any more from Marks. So, I saw these in Primark for two pairs. So I've got like a grey pair, khaki and then two blacks just can't wait for it to be a bit colder for me to wear them and then like have these even with trainers you know I'd wear them like chunky kind of what do we call what do we call the socks in the 90s they're like these but when you like you used to scrunch like princess diana style like you used to scrunch them up around your um ankles yeah not just for boots even though you're going to call them a boot sock primark I'm going to wear them with whatever I'm on one today third time I'm going to say it anyway this is something that I wear every day um underneath my makeup it's the face base by Bobby Brown. It's about it's gone up since last year. It's about forty five pound, I think. I'm gonna back up, you know, because I'm a bit too close to that camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my almost empty one at the minute. So you can get this on ASOS, by the way, guys, if you want a um, like always doing discounts, and if you've got the Premier the next day delivery, like I have, vitamin and rich face base smells a bit um, like a really fresh lemony scent. Now I'm not obsessed with lemon, don't get me wrong, but it's a really nice faint lemony scent feels amazing you can use it as a primer vitamin and rich face base i think i've just said that if you've always wanted to try it take my word for it it's amazing um no i'll show you that in a second just a couple of beauty bits um now i've used the mac fix and prep and prime fix and whatever mist and um, you can put it on before your makeup you can put it on afterwards to fix it to set it you can even use it as a bit of a freshen up in during the day there's so many different scents and smells in that this is the rose one which i've never had before and oh my god it's my favorite if you saw my instagram story the other day it's my best one yet even better than the coconut one um so yeah highly recommend that again you can get it on asos in tk maxx how good are the brands of makeup in there at the minute in the last few months i think they've upped the game on brands for makeup becca I think Becca has gone bust. I don't think, maybe not gone bust, maybe that's the wrong term, but I don't think it's made anymore. I heard somebody say on YouTube the other day, gutted if that's true. Um, but Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation, that's probably why it's been out of stock on ASOS for a while. It's 24 hour um, ultimate coverage, it's thick. I like to know that I've got foundation on, always have look like a, like a heavy made up look. Um, this, when I saw it in, TK Maxx was 9.99, and they had loads of different colours and I'm kicking myself now that I didn't get a couple of bottles and it was meant to be 32.99, got it for 9.99 so I'll just check online to see if actually it is meant to be 30, 33 quid and it is and it's still on ASOS now, well it was when I first picked this up last month um, for the set for £32 and then it went down to £16 as I was trying to get another bottle from TK Maxx. So, right, get it. Just went out of stock instantly. So, I think most people must know, if they know the brand Becca, that that is a good foundation. So, unfortunately, I don't think I can get any more of it. Um, it's been out of stock on ASOS now since I've been looking a couple of weeks. Um, 
but anyway I'll keep an eye on it it's in my favourites box on ASOS and then this week when Walter was getting his groom at Pets at Home and I had two hours to spare I just was spending loads of time in the makeup department in TK Maxx so I got a um, they had this week the ultimate coverage concealer long wear concealer to go with it that I got in the colour banana this is in the colour desert um, this is a this is probably when I've not got fresh tan on, but you know, during the week when it's kind of wearing off. Um, and I love that. I would def if I can get my hands on that anymore again, should I say, I'm gonna get some more. Um, and then final thing to show you is a housey bit because who doesn't love filling the house with pumpkin, sea salt flavored candles, scented candles, or just anything autumn smelling. Oh god, it's so nice. I got it blue because, as you might know, if um, you've seen on Instagram, my living room is navy, um, big time. <laughs> the whole walls are navy. Um, so yeah, bit of uh, autumn interiors there for you. Oh, it's got a little random farm van on. Oh, it's not a farm van. What I'm on about? But anyway, let's go and collect all those pumpkins. <laughs> Do you know what? I've never been pumpkin picking, but I might go this year. Anyway. I am rambling. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I would love to see you again. Comment below if you're going to try and find out any of these pieces for yourself or just let me know what your favourite item was. Um, yeah. And if you're not already, follow me on Instagram because I'm, I'm quite busy on there compared to YouTube. <laughs> um, since my last video, which was a Swimming World Journey video, I've had several, lots more followers. Not got loads, but I've had an influx of followers so thank you very much for following and if um, if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and yeah that'll do for now I'm gonna film some of the cutaways and then I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then I'm gonna wait for my friend to arrive and we're gonna head into the peaks with Walter anyway have a nice weekend bye see you soon